In this tutorial, we'll be exploring the Montmartre Supercell pouring paint. If you haven't tried this before, you will absolutely love it. Supercell is pre-mixed and has cell activator added, so you can start pouring straight away. We'll be doing three pours, so let's get into it. Pouring art is quite messy, so it's a great idea to protect the work surface. In this case, we just cut a bin liner in half. The first pour we'll be doing is the humble old flip cup. To do this, we lay each layer up slowly into the cup. In this case, we are using light aqua, turquoise, teal and gold. You can see the cells forming in the cup already. Multiple layers tend to yield better results. Gold pigment has the highest density and as such will sink to the bottom, so it's a good idea to use more of this when laying up the cup. Another thing to bear in mind with all the pores is that you should pour in less of the stronger colours, or they will overpower the weaker colours. Once the cup has been layered up, flip the cup and gently tilt the canvas from side to side. If you like this project, we've got loads more on our website. Jump online to check out our Create blog and sign up with Creative Connection to get lessons, inspo tips and more sent directly to your inbox. Staying inspired doesn't have to cost a cent. The next pour is an edge pour. We begin by laying a bead of gold across the edge of the canvas. Next yellow is laid down followed by cadmium red. Titanium white is then laid up to the other colours and evenly dispersed across the canvas with a large palette knife. If you don't have a large palette knife, you can use a sheet of card. The colours are then dragged over the white coat. You can do this a couple of times or until you are happy with the coverage. Stay inspired and don't miss a video from us. Subscribe and leave a comment below with what you'd like us to create next. We'd love to hear from you. The third pour is called a travel pour. Essentially, the canvas is divided by two contrasting colours. In this case, black and white. It's not shown in the clip, but we cut the bottom out of the water bottle and also put a hole in the cap. Placed it onto the canvas and it was then filled with cadmium red, light purple and pink. The bottle is then slowly pulled in between the colours. Once it's down, the colour is dragged into the black and white with a palette knife. More interesting effects can be created if a straw is used to blow the colour around the canvas. Thanks for watching. These are just a few ways you can pour with our supercell paints, but the possibilities are nearly endless.
We hope you're inspired to pick these paints up and try them for yourself. Otherwise, stay creative and we'll see you in the next one.